Yes, Adelaide United, new coach, lots of things changing. We've got a couple of the superstars coming in and give us a chat. Daniel Magush and Nathan Constantopoulos have joined us. Thanks for coming in, fellas. No worries. Well, You've got our names. Yeah. Yep, I've been well, practicing that all day, don't well, worry. It's hard to say, Daniel and Nathan, they're tricky. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sound out the syllables, you'll be yeah. right. <laughs> uh, very good. Hey, Daniel, let's start with you. Eugene Galekovic, mate, back in Adelaide. That's a, a big win for you. Yeah, definitely. You enjoying working with Eugene? Yeah, it's great to have Eugene back. Um, obviously, I had a little bit of time with him as well when he was still playing. Yep. Um, when I was first coming through, so that was, that was good to learn off him then when he was still playing, and now that he's come in a coaching role, it's also good to get the, I suppose, the intel behind his behind his ways and why he does certain things. So it's yeah, yeah it's been really good. Daniel, can I ask you how many goalkeepers have we got? How many goalkeepers work under Eugene? Because you're going to be a mm. main keeper, who is uh, uh, is yep. Paul Izzo. Yep. Uh, how many guys are underneath him? How many guys does Eugene look after? So he looks after with the first team. There's three of us. Mm. So Izzo, myself, and Isaac Richards. Um, and then you've got you know youth team boys coming through, popping in and out. To yeah. training every now and again to help out with numbers and stuff like that. So where do you play? Adelaide United go and play Sydney mm. this Saturday. Where do you play? So I'll travel with them. I'll, yeah. um, I'll sit on the bench. Oh, okay. um, so for me to get game time, it's generally uh, with the youth team. Yeah. Um, in the local competition and things like that. So. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. generally where I get most of my game time at the moment. Well, you, you 2016, I reckon you played a game. Didn't Eugene get injured and you had? Yeah, that's when I made my debut. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I played, I played eight games all together Ma- now. The Mariners so. against the Mariners. Yeah, yeah. Was it? Good memory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm stretching it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So can, can you remember what that was like for you? Oh, it was great. It was a surreal experience. Obviously, you know, as a kid going to the games every single week, you know, always wanting to play and represent your hometown um, club. So it was a great, great feeling to finally achieve that. And the eight goals they scored, that wasn't your fault. <laughs> 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 they won that game. They won that game. You won it. You won it. Yeah. I'm only kidding. Well, well, so Nathan, uh, you came a bit of a different way. Brisbane Raw, you, you had a bit of a trot with them for a while. Uh, yeah. So I started at Adelaide. Yeah. I made my debut Here. at yeah. 17. Mm. Was struggling a bit with game time. So I decided, you know, it might be my best interest to try and find some game time. So I went to Brisbane for a year and a half. Had a few games there, but I think I matured a lot as a person and as a footballer. And then, yeah, just came back recently and I've been doing okay for a You've been doing who, really right? well. Yeah. Yeah. Under who? Under who? Cosmina would have been. I was, no, I was under Aloisi. When you first yeah. started? Yeah, yeah the Aloisi, Aloisi yeah. brothers. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. yeah that what are they like, there. mate? Because they, they appear to be like, I don't know, I was just going to say the Cray twins, but that, that, that's a bit harsh. Um, what are they like, those guys? No, they're, they're, they're very, they look to me to be very intense coaches, both of them, John and... Uh, yeah, I think I think you need to be as a coach. I think yeah. there, there needs to be that that side to you where you're you're firm and you get results from your players. But they were they were really good to me, very knowledgeable co- coaches. They played at such a high level, both of them. Yeah, yeah. So no, they were very very good coaches. Um, I'm happy to say that they improved my game quite a bit actually. So. No. And you're back in Adelaide now. You you. Yeah. After the big move, the big. He's playing all right too. Hey, new coach in. Um, I mean, you never like to say, you can't say anything bad about the new coach. We'll just assume that he's fantastic and everything's great. Um, much different to the previous coach in style of game that he's got you playing? I think in style, I mean, Nathan can explain a bit more about the tactics in relation to the field players, but in, it's a difference in style and tactics. Um, every coach has their different brand of football. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting to develop that at the moment. Um, it's definitely different. I think it's exciting. So I think everyone would be you know, really excited to see what we've got to offer. So if we can string it all together well, it'll be a good package. Was it a surprise that we changed coaches here? Was that a surprise to a lot of players? Oh, like we were discussing before, like, you know, football is a very you know, interchangeable game. Yeah. Thing, things happen you know, the next day. Yeah. You know, things can change just like that. So surprise, seem to be a surprise I don't know. I don't know. For the punters, the Adelaide mm. supporters. Yeah, yeah. Because he did yeah. such a good job. He did a great job. It wasn't yeah. sort of the, yeah. like you know, Adelaide finished bottom or mm. and we're getting hammered every week or mm. whatever. You know, an FFA Cup. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no. Yeah, he, he had a good record and it, it, I think it surprised a lot of people when they when yeah. they changed. But as you say, it's a game. Mm. We were talking about shirts before, how you you, know, yeah. you go out and buy a guy's shirt because he had a great year and next year he's playing for someone else. So, <laughs> you know, what are you doing with his shirt? Yeah. A similar thing with your coach. It, it's yeah, it's, it's the way it is, really. It's just the way that the, 
Yeah. The way the modern game works these days, I think. Players so. are really adaptable to that, though, aren't they? You know, if you That's grow up in it, you guys have grown up in that sport, yeah. so you're mm. really adaptable. It's yeah. not so transient in, in Aussie rules yeah. footy yet, but yeah. it's coming. Yeah. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. How difficult then to, to understand a new system when it comes in? How long do you reckon it takes you guys to go, yep, yeah, we fully understand what the coach is on about here now, we, we're starting to flow with it pretty nicely? Uh, I think it, it depends on a lot of things. First, he needs to bring in his ideas and we need to buy into them. Yep. So that'll take a, a few months in themselves. That's a tough one. The buy-in's Exa always yeah, tough. Exactly. If you're winning, the buy-in's much quicker, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so he has, he has a brand new philosophy, a different style, different tactics, like, like Mangush said. And I think it takes a few months even for the players to become cohesive, to really get to know each other in this new system. A lot of us are the same sort of players, but mm. in this different system, you have to learn different movements to mm. see where other players are moving. And the sport is really tactical. A lot of the times you might just look at it and go, oh, they're just knocking the ball about, but there's always reasons for the things that we do. And no, I think the new coach has brought in a, a good brand of football and I think everyone will because enjoy it. It's not just a new coach now. We've got new players as well. We, there's a few moved on, there's a few gone here, there's a few gone there, we brought a few in. Mm. So there's a, lot, there's a lot of change, not just, uh, yeah. you know, not just the game plan, but You've got to know how he plays. Yeah, of course. You've got him from Not very well, I might say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be easy no, to work I'll out. I'll sit and say yeah. that, though. I think we've actually got a good core of SA boys who we've, we've been together a long time okay. now, coming up through the junior ranks as well. Mm. So a lot of us do know the way we, we play. Right. So for these new guys to come in, um, like Nate said, it will take that little bit of period to get to know these new guys, but fundamentally we do know yeah. how we each work and, and yeah. operate. Yeah. Adelaide have a pretty good youth system, don't, mm. don't they? They have a really good feeder yeah, system. You guys yeah. were a part of that. Yeah. Uh, does that help a lot? Yeah, it, definitely. You know, yeah, to this yeah. stage yeah, you're at now, course. just what you said, so there's the understanding, mm. know each other as, as mates as well. Mm. And, yeah. You know, it mm. seems to be a pretty solid group of the SA guys yeah. in this year. I mean, you know, talking to, to players from other teams as well, they don't seem to kind of have the um, the cohesion that we have in our team. Mm. Um, yeah. And I think that, like you said, it has to do with us being out, living so close to each other and living in close proximity, sharing same experiences growing up and things like that. So that all helps. Mm. So, yeah, definitely. You always a goalie? Always? <laughs> I started out first, I'd say I was a centre back, but uh -huh. I quickly got it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and not, then not very good at the gloves that. and thought, well, I still yeah. want to be part of this. So. Yeah, I think I just like, personally, I just like being in a more individual position mm. um, and having that added added pressure, I suppose, to my game. Yeah. I, I kind of like that. Mate, it is so, pressure too, isn't it? The goalie, yeah. I mean, you know, unless you've actually gone and stood have you ever done it? Yes. In the goals? Very unfriendly area, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the opposite. I'm, I'm hanging out with Nathan, mate. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere near where Daniel plays, mate. No doubt. Wise choice. Wise yeah. choice. Yeah. I mean, I joke about it a lot, but um, I, I did play one game as goalie when I was in England. And, yep. and, whatever, and I had nine scored on me. Yeah. I blamed the defence. Were you playing futsal? Or? Yeah. I, no, mate, I blamed my defence. <laughs> yeah. They didn't protect me enough. But it, I couldn't believe the size of yeah. the goals. Yeah. Like, when you're standing there and some guy standing... I don't know how far that is, but it's not far. Mm. And it's a massive uh, area to protect. Yeah, yeah. And you can yeah. get killed in there. Oh, <laughs> well, you definitely can. I suppose if you cop a ball the wrong way to the head or something like that. But, um, but nah, you pull one off, there's nothing yeah. better, is there? That's, that's it. Know. It's all for the, that one moment, I think. Exactly. That's that's worth all the all the other stuff yeah. you go through, you exactly might go through. Right. So. Exactly. Hey, yeah. You're saying that, Daniel. Mm. You know, they talk about on-field uh, in the AFL, blokes at the back. Luke Hodges, an example, is great at giving yeah. instructions and orchestrating. Yep. It's a massive voice for the goalkeeper, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you've got to be a leader, huge I think. responsibility, and isn't it? like Eugene, we were yeah. talking about before, yeah. he was really good at that. Yeah. And I think he was one to lead by example as well, which is also very... A very strong trait to have as a leader, and obviously he was the captain of the club for a long time. So, That's a good point. you know, yeah. like like I said, going back to what we were talking about before, being able to watch that as I was coming up and learning the way he conducted himself, it's yeah. kind of it's kind of helped me. He's as a well. hero, do you? Yeah, Huge. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I first started, he started uh, goalkeeping. He was the the goalkeeper of Adelaide United, so he yeah. was always the one I looked up to. And hopefully, one day I could take his spot. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> as my coach. <laughs> <laughs> you have an argument with Daniel, have you had an on-field disagreement where he's saying you need to get over there and you've gone, no, get nicked, I'm going over here. Have you ever had guys ever had a disagreement? Uh, We've been together a long time. Yeah, it happens. I'm, sure it's, I'm sure it's happened. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, he, he gets angry a lot. Does he? <laughs> poor, poor man. But, um, Goalkeepers do that. Don't yeah, no, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you might just chip it over him and he has a word. Oh. But, but that's about it. Is it? But, uh, no, well, he's not going to that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, what can we expect this year? What can the fans expect this year from LA? Uh, I think we'll be... We'll be a very good team. We have a good base. We have a lot of the same team as last year, so you can expect good things from us. And I think the new coach complements our new system really well. And I think 
it'll be very, very good. We've lost Asayas, haven't we? We've lost him. Um, he's gone to, where's he gone? Yes, sir, he's gone over to the Middle East. Oh, that's right, of course yeah. he has. He hasn't, at least he's not going to be playing against us. No, no. You know, he's not an easy player to replace. No, he, no. He's a very, very good player uh, and was like a rock, if you like, in, yep. in defence. So he's going to not be easy to replace. No. I'm going to let you go quickly. Campbelltown, um, uh, Melbourne City. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who's going to get that one this weekend? Oh, we we'll oh. hope SA. We'll go. We'll support the local. Yeah. Local SA. Yeah. 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 We hope Campbell Town get up, but we we'll have to wait and see. When's our first game here? When's United play? Next week. Next week we Next have week? a FA yeah. Cup game in Melbourne. Who against? Our uh, local team, Melbourne Knights. Yeah. Melbourne Knights going oh, down, going down. <laughs> hey, Adelaide United, you need to get involved with them this year. A couple of ripping players, South Australian boys. Get on Adelaide United and be a supporter. Stay with us. Still, a bit more to come.